Hi there, welcome to this tutorial from lithos.com. In this series of videos, we are looking at the various interview questions which are asked as part of the collection framework. This is video 2 where we are looking at the overview uh, interview questions asked on the collection framework like what are the basic interfaces which are present in the collection framework. Uh, can you give a basic overview like what are the classes which are present in there, What, which class implements which interface. And also we will look at how you can use generics in a collection framework and also we will go ahead and see what is the collections class and what you can do with the collections class. In the next set of videos uh, after this we would look at list, map, set, uh, differences between a lot of uh, classes which you see on the screen right now. Those are for video 3, video 4 and video 5. So let's get started with video 2. We'll just look at the hierarchy of the collection interface and we'll get started with it. So the first class in the collection interface, first interface I'm sorry, is the collection interface itself. The collection interface offers different methods which will allow you to add, remove or get uh, a value from a list of things. So, uh, sorry. From a group of things. So, what does that really mean? So, you can actually have, like, this is basic, basically all the methods which are present, all important methods which are present in the collection interface. You can add a value, you can remove a value, or you can do a lot of stuff with this. These are the basic methods which are present in the collection interface. The first uh, important other interface is the set interface. So the set interface actually extends the collection interface. So basically a set interface contains all the methods which are present in the collections interface. The only difference is that uh, all the implementations of the set interface would only allow unique values. In a normal collection you can have duplicate values but in a set you would not, uh, you are not allowed to have duplicate values. So you all the values would be unique. The next important interface inside the uh, collections hierarchy, collection framework is list interface. List interface handles all those things where position is very important. So let's just take this list of batsmen. They are ordered in the sequence of their runs. So in this particular thing, the position is important. So I want Sachin at 0, Lara at 2 and probably Kohli somewhere down the line. It's not really three, but somewhere down the line. So this is a list interface where we actually have everything ordered by position. So you'd be able to say, I want to remove a batsman at position one. I want to get the batsman at position two. I want to set the batsman at position two as pointing. So these are the different kinds of methods which a list interface offers. So the just to recap, First, we looked at the collections interface, which contains basic methods. Then we looked at uh, the uh, set interface, which doesn't allow duplicates. But other than that, there are no new methods in the set interface. The list interface also extends collection. So in addition to whatever methods are present in the collection interface, it offers these new methods based on position. So you would be able to say, I want to get the value at a particular position. I want to set the value at a particular position to this. I want to add a value at a position. The difference between set and add is that set will change. Let's say I would do set 1 comma Kohli, then it would change the value here to Kohli. The same thing if I want to add 1 comma Kohli, then what happens is the rest of the values would be pushed outside and here Kohli would be inserted again. So the, that's another important thing. Uh, the list interface allows for duplicates. So uh, in a list you can really have duplicates. If you don't want to use du have duplicates, then you should go for a set. So these are the uh, most important interfaces which are present inside the collections uh, hierarchy, which implement the collections interface. Other than that, there is a queue interface which is present, which is to store a list of values in a way you can get the last and first values easily. The last important interface is the map interface. So the map interface, uh, most important thing, it doesn't extend the collections interface and it offers methods which allow you to use key value pairs. 
So a map interface, if you look at all the methods, they are based on key value. So for this key, what is the value? For this key, what is the value? So this is what a map interface allows. So you'd have methods which would all interact with these keys. So you'd be able to put key one, comma value one. You can, will be able to remove key two. You can add key three, comma value three or change the value for particular thing. So if you look at all the particular methods which are present in the map interface, they are based on the keys. So it's a key value pair. So all the methods in the map interface would be redirected, like would be in uh, a key value uh, related things. So, so in an overview, if I can summarize, the collection interface offers uh, the basic methods Set interface is just an uh, extension of the collection interface, but you will not be able to store duplicates in a set. A list interface is an uh, extension of the collection interface and it allows methods based on position. So I'll be able to say at this position store this, at this position store that. And a map interface on the other hand allows you to add values based on a key value pair. So you can say this key is this value and you'll be able to remove a key add a key you can get the list of keys you can uh, find out uh, a lot of things based on the keys so that's the overview of the collection interfaces so that's the first uh, that's the answer to the first question what are the basic interfaces of the java collection framework next let's go on to the basic overview of the collection framework. So now that we looked at the uh, collection uh, classes, we'll take a look at the uh, different classes which are present and get an overview. I'll keep it really quick. If you really want to go into the details, you can look at the other uh, videos on this channel as well. I mean, there's a big series of uh, playlists with videos which are just related to collections. So as we said, the collections, interface is the basic set interface extends collection interface and so only allows duplicates the first class which implements the set interface is hash set hash set is an unordered and unsorted by unordered we mean if we implement like the order of insertion is not maintained so if i insert a set of values then they will there is no guarantee that they will be stored in the right order so if i insert sachin first uh, Dravid next and Lara after that, there is no guarantee that I will get elements in that order back. Probably uh, in while the hash set is storing the values, Kohli is fo stored first, Sachin next and Lara after that. So that's possible. So that's what is unordered. So it's unordered and unsorted. Unsorted means it doesn't sort the values. So uh, a set only ensures that it's unique. So the basic characteristics of a set is that all values would be unique. However, a hash set is a specific implementation of a set where the elements are neither ordered nor sorted. So it's just uh, stores uh, things uh, in like a hash set just stores things. So it, there is no order and there is also no sorting. However, a linked hash set is one where there is it's ordered. That means if I insert uh, Sachin first. Uh, Dravid next and Kohli after that the way they are stored also is same so Sachin is stored first then the next and then the next one so linked hash set is an ordered thing but it's unsorted so if I insert uh, B first uh, X next and A after that it will store B X and A and it will not be in the sorted order sorted order would be A B and X so it would not store it in that way. It would just store it in the order of insertion. So it's if I insert in this order, let's say I insert A first, then I insert X, then I insert B, then the way it's stored inside would also be the same, A, X, and B. Uh, in hash set, if I did a A, X, B insertion, the way it would be stored would be, I have no idea. It can be X, A, B or it can even be B A X whichever way it wants to store it it the hash set only ensures that the list of, like the values which you insert are present it doesn't say anything about where they are present in a linked hash set 
they are inserted in the order of their uh, insertion. So if I insert in this order A first, X next and B next, it would be A first, X next and B next. So that's linked asset. The tree set, however, stores it in the sorted order. So if I inserted elements in this order, then it would store it in this order. So A, B, X, that's the sorted order. So if I say A instead of X, if I say, if I inserted in A, C, B, it would store it in A, B, and C. So uh, tree set implements it, uh, is, uh, stores uh, the values in a sorted order. So that's the three important classes which are present inside the set interface. The list interface, as we discussed earlier, allows based on position. The important classes which are present in the list interface are ArrayList and Vector. ArrayList is very basic implementation of the list. It doesn't, uh, sorry, ArrayList, Vector, Linked List. Those are the important classes inside the, uh, like, which implement the list interface. ArrayList is, uh, like, uh, is very basic implementation of the list. You can add a value, you can remove a value and a lot of stuff. Vector is a little bit uh, like uh, the only difference between a vector and an array list is methods in vector the are synchronized. The most important methods in vector are synchronized which means you can use this in a multi-threaded environment. Whereas array list you cannot use it in a multi-threaded environment. The other class is linked list. Linked list has uh, each element is linked to the next one. So there is a link between each one of them and hence in a link list insertion and deletion are much faster. So compared to an array list the inserting and uh, deleting values from a uh, link list is faster. However the traversing I mean uh, iterating the list is slower. So in a linked list iterating the list is slower. So those are the important things about the list interface. The other interface which we are going to look at is the map interface. Map interface, as we discussed, allows key value pair kind of stuff. And the important implementations of the map interface are hash map, hash table, and linked hash map. Hash map stores unsorted, unordered, so no sorting and no ordering. I mean, not the, uh, like if I insert in one way, I might get it in another way. Hash table, however, is same as hash map except that it's synchronized so you can use hash table in a multi-threaded environment you cannot use hash map in a multi-threaded environment a linked hash map has a link between one to the next element linked hash map maintains ordering so the insertion order is maintained so if i insert a c p then the va value should be stored in a c b order so it would not store it in a sorted way it just stores it in the order of insertion and the other one which is important is the tree map. The tree map stores the keys in a ascending order. So if I insert A, C, B, I mean I'm talking just about the keys not the values, then it would store them as A, B, C. So those are the important four important uh, classes which are present inside the I mean, which are implementing the map interface. If you really want to rem remember uh, easily, then you can remember this way. Anything starting with a tree, any hi uh, like collection hierarchy starting with a tree would store things in a sorted way. So tree map, tree set, e all this store it in a sorted way. Generally, anything which starts with a hash will not guarantee ordering, neither are they sorted. So ha anything starting with hash, like hash map, hash table, all these kind of hash set, these don't store order, neither they are sorted. So anything started with hash would be unsorted and unordered. Anything starting with linked on the other way would be ordered. So when anything starts with linked, then the order in which I insert will be the order in which they will be stored. So linked hash mapped, linked set all these kind of stuff, everything starting with linked, would the order is maintained. However, it will not be sorted. So it will be in the order of insertion. It will not be sorted. So the three keywords are hash. Hash is unsorted, unordered, linked. Linked is uh, ordered, but not sorted. And tree, tree is sorted, but not ordered. So I hope that's useful for you to remember this stuff. So it's a lot of classes. I know it gets confusing, but yeah, that's about the collection framework, interview, uh, 
questions on the basic overview now let's just get into generics let's just look at a generics example so if you look at generics generally when I uh, like how are generics and collections related that's basically the question and the way it is related is something of this kind so if you look at this particular code uh, there is array list of numbers however there is nothing which prevent says what type of things this array list contains so does this array list contains uh, a, a number or I mean does it contain a string the only indication is from the numbers however from the type I would not be able to say anything that's where the generics come into picture so also let's say something dot add I can add 5 to this so I can if I don't say what type an array list is I can add a string and I'm adding a number to it I can add anything else to it that's where the generics come into picture so a generic helps us specify a specific type for each one of these so here I'm saying new array list of integer so I can only add integers so if I I can say numbers dot add 5 numbers dot add 6 but if I say numbers dot add 6.0 it would give me a compilation error because 6.0 is not an integer it's a uh, it's a float or it's a double so this guarantees type safety so that's the most important thing about generics it guarantees type safety so uh, they like there are a lot of other things about generics that you need to know you can look up the other tutorials which are present on generics in our channel uh, we'll move on to the next question now what is the collections class so is there a class called collections so the most important thing is collection is an interface so when I say collection collection is an interface however collections is a class collections is a class which has a lot of utility methods which can help you to do things on a collection so I'm looking up now the collections class from the Java util so it's in the Java util package so if you look at the different methods which are present inside the collections the most important one is the sort so oops let's zoom in the most important method inside the collections interface is this sort method so you'd be able to sort uh, a lot of uh, like everything using uh, the uh, collections interface and the other important methods inside the collection interface are to find out the minimum to find out the maximum and if you want to uh, like uh, find a list of things or if you want to copy a list uh, those kind of methods are all present inside the collection you'd want to do a binary search uh, and reverse a list a shuffle a list so these are the kinds of methods which are present inside the collections class so collections class contains various utility methods which help you to play around with uh, any collection so it contains sort binary search it contains uh, reverse shuffle if you just want to put them in random order and you would be able to have the minimum maximum uh, and replace and these kinds of methods which are present inside the uh, uh, collections class collections class is basically you can think of it as a utility class for the collections interface so I mean to, for the collection interface so collections class is the utility interface so it offers a lot of static methods you can just say collections dot sort and pass a collection to it so it will ensure that it's sorted you can say collections dot reverse and those kind of stuff so all utility methods which are related to the collections uh, collection interface collection framework are present in the collections class so there you go so those are oh, I hope I gave you a real high level overview of the whatever interview questions that can be asked about the collections framework uh, in the next tutorial next video we will look at uh, list interface uh, interview questions and we'll also look at the map interface and the set interface interview questions in detail until then if you like this video show it by clicking like or commenting or sharing this video we are creating more videos on varied range of topics as we speak subscribe to stay updated thanks for watching until next time bye